Libra. Welcome home to Bahati Life YouTube channel. Feels really good to have you guys here. We're going to see what is up for you for the month of October. But of course, even though this is for the month of October, we are totally open to seeing what spirit has for you, these messages that they have for you, regardless of when you're clicking in. This is for the Libra Sun Moon Rising and also my Crossword Watchers. What's going on? What's going on? What does Libra need to hear? This is the first card that wants to jump out. Oh, wow. Okay. So first things first, we have the Sun card and we have the Ten of Pentacles. What a really prosperous and intense start to your reading, Libra. I love this for you. Also, by the way, happy birthday. Wow. Something about this person, whoa, whoa. Something about this person kneeling down is really standing out to me. Bowing down. Um, talk to me about that spirit. And then also as I'm saying that, I also see this person bowing down in front of the sun. I'm hearing the word uh, reverence. Um, to be in awe of, uh, I heard the word, I just heard the word conflict. Uh, I heard the word just now acknowledgement. And then also we have the magician card and the four of wands. What I can see and what I can tell, spirit is trying to talk to you, Libra, to let, to help you to understand that it's the conflict that they want you to have reverence for for in, in order to be in awe. Something about this is uh, the, um, okay, I heard the word conflict again. So this is when things don't seem like they align. They don't seem like they match up. They don't seem like they're making sense, but that's what makes it so incredibly magical. That's what makes it so miraculous is how much the universe will sense all the energies around you and then somehow seamless, seamlessly seamlessly work to align them and it's beyond human recognition it's beyond human understanding it's beyond human awareness and we have to submit to that and bow to that and humble ourselves to that so that everything can align for our highest and greatest good. And what I am hearing is that spirit says that, yes, this is for your highest and greatest good. And yes, we want you to be happy, but this is just the way nature ebbs and flows. This is the natural progression of things. And I think sometimes, I don't know why, but spirit is saying to you that, you know, you're not, this is so crazy. You're not the center of the universe. I know that sounds wild, but it's like you don't have to be the center of the universe in order for magic to work on your behalf, for magic to occur or for things to align for everyone's highest and greatest good. Spirit really wants you to be happy. Spirit really wants you to be joyful. Spirit wants you to be filled, fulfilled, and there's so many different things. There's so many different avenues for that. Okay, this card wants to jump out big time. Wow, okay, Three of Pentacles and the Lovers card, Libra. Uh, at the time of me filming this, it is Libra season, and Libra naturally wants to harmonize, collab, connect, and align with um, what is, you know, what you are trying to manifest, what you're trying to build, what you're trying to materialize. Spirit is saying for the month of October, you are really truly going to be stepping into your power. Um, definitely when it comes to your sanctuary, when it comes to your home, when it comes to family, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to abundance. Um, I'm also seeing the connection of if there's two children within the home, there's going to be a, another one added. There's this big element of uh, fertility. If there's two projects, there's going to be a third. If there's three poten uh, two potentials, there's going to be a second. These are things that are naturally flying in for your life right now. These are information and messages that are coming through that are really left to buoy you and uplift you. There's a natural harmonious alignment that happens when 
um, when three things come together and spirit is working to make that your new reality, there's this really massive emphasis on the word, the number three. Yeah, wow. The tower card. This is going to be something that I feel like you sense it. I feel like you sense that there is a change. I feel like you sense that there's something in the, in the works. There might be a level of agitation and irritation as you're waiting for it to occur as you're waiting for it to happen and somehow oh and as i say this it's literally three things three people at the very base of this so um it's but it really what it is it's like the universe spirit nature is working to harmoniously align all of this these, these dysfunctional chips right that's the word that's coming through so it's like something that blasted a part over here, something that's blasting a part over there. And now these pieces, these chips are just kind of flying around in your, in the world. And that somehow gravity, your attraction, your, what you're magnetizing towards you, it, from these pieces that were blasted apart, they start coming towards you. They start naturally attracting because of what was broken down over there. This is why spirit, this is my understanding. And then we also have the um, hanged man card here. And we, underneath that, we have the nine of cups and we have the devil card. So this is why spirit wants you to understand or why your guides want you to hear and understand that the fact that you're not the center of the universe is, is kind of like a blessing because it, it takes the pressure off of you. So you just being who you are and you allowing yourself to just flow and vibe and and you know be present is while this destruction is happening not so much i don't see this in your intimate world i feel libra that of course there are things that have broken down in your world but you're not the only one and the things that have been destroyed over here or that have been crumbling are those pieces are just spinning out in in our you know around in your neighborhood in on the internet and something about you naturally pulls in attracts and harmonizes this to you i definitely see this when it comes to your work i definitely see this when it comes to your finances i see this when it comes to pregnancy and children and family houses things like that it's like something had to fall apart all the way over there and i'm not surprised if it would be three different things or three different areas of your life three different things had to fall apart in order for things to just kind of magnetize and pull into you um yeah, dude. So that's that's definitely the vibe of what it is that I'm sensing right now. This is, I'm really seeing and sensing that this this tower card is because it's going to be better than you actually expect it to be. It's going to be better than you expect it to be. It's going to be, it's going to far surpass your, your expectations. And this is why I think Spirit is saying, you know, it's, you're going to have awe and reverence, like this sense of like, wow, of how things have crazy aligned for you not just for you because it's like it almost feels like you're you being blessed and you having this happy happy venture coming through blesses a lot of people it it spills out it radiates it warms a lot of other people simply by you also by you being by you being connected think about you're stepping into your your truth you're stepping into your purpose you're stepping into your destiny and with your work and you being this, you know, having this opportunity to collab, to connect, to create, to share to your clients, it ends up uplifting 15, 20, 30 other people, 33 other people, right? All because you have been blessed with an opportunity. You have been blessed with an, uh, a chance to, to show what you're made out of, you know, show what you've been working on, show, showcase what you've been working on when it comes to family, right? So you may think to yourself, you know, I want to be happy in my marriage. I want to be happy and create a family, but also think about the ripple effect of that. When you find your partner, when you guys create children, when multiple children, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm seeing this really strong number with three, the importance of three, three, three things coming together. Um, so I see that also with nine of cups, there's three different uh, human beings here. I just, I'm really getting this strong sense of two moving into three, two moving to three, and then in your own quiet time, 
you sit in, in awe and in wonder of how the universe is so miraculous when it comes to shifting things in order to make a way, to pave a way, not just for you because it feels like the blessings, more than one, that are coming into your life when it comes to family, house. Okay, this is the card that wants to come out for you as well as this one. The blessings that come into your family, the home environment, your money, and love and relationships, whoa, spill out into others. Okay, so, wow. So let's talk about what cards you have. First thing that's really standing out to me is the Phoenix card, transmutation. This is truly what it is that I was talking about. It feels like there are a few situations, people and things that you did not know of that had nothing to do with you prior, them blasting, getting blasted and them falling apart somehow ends up being one of your greatest blessings, ends up being a true tremendous gift for you right? That's where this transmutation is coming from because from the ashes, from the ground that was broken down, something is built up here. Something is created and attracted and magnetized towards you and it's going to be greater than you expect. And I'm not the type of person who will make promises that I can't keep. I'm not that type of person to be like, yeah, you know, stay positive, especially if you're not. I will tell you when you have hardship ahead of you. I will tell you when it's going to be a struggle. I do not feel that way. I feel like you were in the fires for a minute when there it's not just you like there's this emphasis on like the others others are in the fire they were undergoing massive massive fire and pressure in order to change your next cards my loves are purity and activation so truly something is being activated here it has pure intention it has pure pure energy pure vibes. It feels very, very good. It feels very, very powerful. And it's a breath of fresh air. This is something that is going to feel so brand new for you. It's something that is so feels long overdue. Yeah, you have nine coming up twice. So we have five, uh, 54 breaks down into the energy of nine. So there literally, this is the end. What something has ended over there, 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 there is now coming in to a new beginning, a new story, a new blessing, all right? Nine is the last number before we enter into the double digits. Um, I talk about that in my Secret Circle Tarot School. We dive really deep into um, esoteric symbolism, numerology, um, history, intuitive uh, studies, that type of stuff. Um, also, with the Spirit Guardian of Spring, this activation, six, seven, eight, nine, six plus three equals nine. So again, you have nine, nine, like nine here. Also, nine of cups. So I just, I just feel really good about this reading for you guys. Nine, 10, 11. Wow. And then that's the trans transmutation. We have 92. 92 breaks down into 11. 11 is one of the master numbers. And I just feel truly that there is a portal that has opened and activated that is pure that is present that is a gift that is holy literally from god from the divine it's from your higher self it's the universe's gifts to you and to others simply by giving you this gift right now so libra honestly take some time out i'm seeing a lot of vision boarding for you um but while you're creating and asking the universe for what you want be open to what they're going to give to you because there's a lot of warmth that's going to be radiating that's going to be feeling fulfilling you and I'm getting a lot of Leo energy right now as, as I'm saying that. So this could represent a Leo person within your life. This could represent you stepping into your own truth, your own power. And it could also represent, again, children, creativity, dating, having fun and having a uh, joy, joy that like warms your heart and warms, warms your energy. And you definitely need and deserve that Libra. That's been quite, been quite the journey. All right, my loves, I hope this reading resonated. I hope it made sense. And I hope it filled you with, you know, hope and expectation and wonderment because, and you have to keep me posted. Please keep me posted on how this resonates with you. Okay, until then, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit Bahati Life Apothecary for any candles, herbs, or oils, intention oils that you need in order to manifest and materialize your highest hopes and desires. Turn that ten of that nine of cups into the ten of cups, and then the ace of cups, and then the two of cups, and then start that cycle all over again. Working your magic is a sure way to make that happen. Until then, you guys, I'll see you later.
Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.